I feel like I probably should start my videos saying, hey, welcome back to my channel. You know, the whole like YouTuber cliche thing, but I never do. I'm just like, you found me somehow. I'm Kate, you know I'm one of a Kate. <laughs> so hello, back, and I have a sample project. Um, clearly I already opened it. I don't know if this is like the signature packaging, but it was a giant bag. And um, what's great is that they also sent me like another giant bag with a return shipping label um, to send all the stuff back. So it's ultra convenient. Um, I've actually never heard of this yarn, so. Summer Camp Fibers. Um, yeah, I follow the Knit Kit, and I've always wanted one of those, and so I saw that they were calling for sample makers with that, and they had like knits and crochet stuff, and I can do both. So, you know, I kind of applied for both, and the, um, the one I got accepted for is, the Huntress Vest from Two of Wands. So uh, I did never realize that this was actually like a knit and a crochet project. Super fun. Um, it is uh, like, it, it. they suggest Lion Brand, but obviously like this is gonna be a luxurious little vest in these colors. When I first opened this package, I, I was like, oh my gosh, the colorway is crazy cool. So she did send me, the, um, a nice little note and what's funny is that she said thank you so much for helping happy making heart Kate uh, I'm Kate Kate is making this for Kate how cool is that summer camp fun in the Sun with hand dyed yarn so huntress vest is what this is gonna be this yarn is a summer camp yarn rope course it's three ply 100% Andean Highland wool. There's 44 yards per hundred grams. This color weighs rum runner. It's just so pretty. So I have all my things out here ready to get to winding. I just had to film this like to let y'all know I'm starting it. I think I might start a TikTok too on this um, because why not? Content is content and um, so this pattern calls for a 10 millimeter crochet hook, a six millimeter crochet hook, and 15 millimeter knitting needles, any length. So I think that it's done, like the pieces are all done flat. I looked and it shows like pictures of like different pieces and how it's gonna get pieced together. This is a, uh, I love that they, they printed this out and I have to return the pattern back, you know, because like I'm sure they purchased it to be made for this sample. So I think that this is a very efficient way to do this. This is a uh, nine page pattern. Um, super cute. I might want one of these vests um, after I make it. I didn't think it'd be something that I would want, but it looks cool and I love this color. I actually decided that I was going to do this um, for, well, hello, do this for credit because I wanna get like fingering weight yarn with them, but I think it's really cool that I'll get to try like a bulky weight and then also get a fingering weight later and especially seeing that colors, like my first experience with this yarn, like so far is freaking amazing. The people are really nice and amazing. Anyway, so I don't have like, these are like the biggest needles that I have and it was from a We Are Knitters kit. So, oh, oh, before I break them, oh my gosh. So, um, I feel like I should be playing, like these are drumsticks or something. Um, I've never played the drums, can you tell? <laughs> so, I don't know if I'm gonna get gauge with these, but we'll try, we'll see. And then I've got two hooks here. So I feel like I'm going with like the pink theme here. I don't know. 
I just got to cake this up and start gauging, gauge swatching and see how this goes. I've actually, okay, that's another thing too. So the knitting part is a herringbone knit stitch. I've done herringbone crochet stitching. I've never done the knit stitch. So this is going to be like, and it says on here how to do it. Um, and I'm always into learning like new techniques. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. This is gonna be so cool. I don't know how many times I could say that. So I guess I am going to set this up and get to winding. Should I wind? No, I'm gonna record um, a TikTok of the yarn and take pictures of just the yarn first. And then I'm, and then I'm gonna set this up to wind at least half of the yarn. I think I'm gonna wind half of the yarn. Nah, maybe I'll just wind half the yarn right now and then I could start the TikTok later. Cause I'm, I, I don't know what jingle I wanna do with it or like how I'm gonna do it. Yeah, okay. Have y'all ever heard of the Knit Kit or Summer Camp Fibers? I am also interested in knowing what your favorite yarn weight is, whether it be bulky, DK, fingering, and do you wind all your yarn before using the project or as you are going when you're making? I'll say that traditionally I do it as I go with the project, but bulky comes in usually smaller yardage and goes by quicker, so... Here we go. I totally have backlight going right now, but um, I'm just amazed. I swear I keep petting this. It's impressive. And the coloring is so freaking cool. I don't, I mean, the way that this is pieced together, I don't think that the, like, it's something I need to be alternating. Like, I don't think pooling is gonna be happening in this. I might try to do some kind of alternating like that when I crochet, um, but this is like only like a little triangle patch that is the knitting. I don't, like, I don't think that there's any more knitting after I get this part done. Yeah, so. Um, I think I'm okay with just doing it in one color. And the, I mean, the way the vest is in so many pieces, I don't think any possibility of pooling is going to happen anyways. Um, they didn't say any specifics as far as any of that goes with the sample making. So I don't know, maybe I'm safe, but, um, it's been a long time or I say it's been a long time. I don't think I've ever knit really on straight needles or this large of needles 15 millimeters um yeah crazy so since it's just like one little triangle piece I had went ahead and started knitting and just measured from what I got going on because like the gauge swatch didn't give like a height it only for the knitting it only gave for the stitch count and um i'm within the stitch count so and i've also recently learned that purling is difficult for me to get proper tension to match like flat wise so i've i've started using a knitting backwards like i've started knitting backwards which is fascinating um it's the closest to english style that i've ever been but doing it with doing any of this stuff with the wood needles is so tricky it's like making me go so freaking slow so i normally knit like continental so this is um so the knitting part i can get going pretty well but it's like every single time with since it's so big i've got to make sure to like that the tension is right and going. And with this herringbone stitch, it's, I've got to focus on all these loops too. Have you ever done the herringbone stitch? This is 
freaking cool. Like, what, how did I not ever think of what that was before? I am, I'm loving it, the herringbone stitch. I now, I want to do something else more with it. Um, but this yarn also is like so freaking squishy. I don't ever really work with bulky. So this has been like a cool experience with that too. This is just like a super, I mean, I know it's supposed to be work, but it's a really fun project so far. I'm a little bit, I mean, I knew I was gonna have fun with it, but um, I'm still a little bit surprised. I feel like I go fairly, at a fairly decent pace with the knit part, but when I go to the purl part, it it's a lot, it's a lot because yeah, but these these things are pretty cumbersome. Like knitting with straight needles. But it is cool. Like it makes me want to knit something and like hang them on as like an art piece. Hang them on these giant freaking needles. I mean, realistically, am I ever going to use them again I don't know I am just trying to get to the end of this so I could show you sometimes um the color transitions in each stitch really like fascinate me like the one that I just did there's really no point in even showing you when um the lighting is so bad here so maybe I'll have to, sh I don't know. Like maybe I should show my knitting from another angle so you can actually see some light. Or maybe I can go outside, do a little bit of knitting outside to, to show y'all like what the stitches look like. I guess I could try that since I'm about to do a purl row. But the purl rows, yeah, okay. I'll set it up so I can show you the real like coloring of the stitches. Let's do it. Okay. How about that? How about it? So it's gonna be moving, we're decreasing into these triangles. So I'll go ahead and show you like how I do some of the knitting backwards. Um, okay. So I'm gonna stick it in like this and then um, this is a little bit harder because it's bulkier yarn, but I'll usually like hold it like the same way that I do when I do continental, but this way, like English style. So that's the first one. Mm -hmm. Like being chunkier and then working like with the wood needles like this, it's definitely a lot for me the birds are chirping and traffic is going by it's kind of evening hour so that's what's going on my dogs are all out here pottying my dog is blind so i probably need to go make sure yeah hang on one second ah, come on yeah that was pretty good timing i guess on my part because um she was creeping up to the pool and our pool needs some TLC. So does my face, but you know, it's fine. This is the real deal. This is what we look like when we're at home stitching, right? I hope so. I hope, I hope that we're alike in this manner. It's fine. All natural is good sometimes, right? It is still pretty hot out here. We're supposed to be starting to have like cooler temperatures tomorrow for a little bit. I mean, I don't know. Some kind of cold front like of rain and stuff is supposed to come. Is This is so crazy. I mean, I look like a brand new... Wow, this viney stuff is like dead over here, so it's rattling in the wind. Um, 
I look like a brand new knitter doing this, which I kind of feel like it since I'm teaching myself knitting backwards, but also like on straight needles and big chunky ones. I think it's the fact that they're big chunky. So it's definitely a small, a short, a, blah, 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 a slower pace for me, but I guess at least that way it's going to be done right. Should I just continue like doing this part to the end with you so that I can show you like what we achieved together on that row? I didn't even really show you the stitch changes, like that many of them, when the colors really start to change. Like this one right here, like look at the flow of that. I'm gonna have to do my nails so that I can showcase more of this project more elegantly. <laughs> it is a cloudy day already. For y'all, I really love sunsets, but the sunrise, I got to watch a little bit of that this morning, and the sunrise is, um, it's a lot cooler out here and more enjoyable to probably have like a cup of coffee. I just would rather spend that time in bed. <laughs> I like sleep, but I'm more of a night owl, so like, I do like sunsets. I feel like sunsets are more colorful. I don't know, I guess it just depends. Yeah, okay. I am close to the end of this. How crazy. Maybe this, maybe this is gonna pull because I feel like this section down here is getting some more of like the creamy, like light pink. This is a workout. More of the creamy, like light pink ones. All right, so when I get to the last two, I gotta do decreases. There we go. Whew. Yeah, definitely a workout. That is just so freaking beautiful. I'm gonna take another picture of this. And y'all saw the back, like how it's creating like this stripe business. Oh man, this is fascinating. I love that. Beautiful. <laughs>I am in complete and utter shock that I have the same gauge as Lexi. How cool! It, this is definitely a workout on my hands though. So it has been a couple days um, and I was working on a different project, but today I decided, or tonight, I decided to wind a couple more hanks and um, finish up the last piece that I had to work on. Because same day that I started y'all, I finished all these pieces. And I would like to get them blocked to the dimensions. Like what's cool is that in each section of these pieces in the pattern, she gives you like an estimated dimension or what it should be. So I'd like to block each thing to that dimension before the whole joining process. Um, so I wanna make sure all my pieces are done. And I didn't wind more yarn. I don't wanna wind all of the hanks in case I don't need them all. So, um, I finally got to doing two more and I think that that should ha that should finish this last like piece that she's calling I believe the s the scarf maybe or the cowl. No, this is the cowl part, I think. Yeah. Um 
So then begins construction after that. All right, I'm gonna finish this tonight and then I'll come back when I get to the blocking phase. Y'all, even the blocking water is beautiful. Well, after like three days, pretty sure it's dry enough to assemble now. Okay, I put a little dre black dress on just so I feel like it would make like a really good backdrop, but I have a lot of ends to weave in. So I wanted to check it out first before I actually like really complete it. I think that to take pictures, I'm gonna have to try to figure out if I can braid my hair or put it up in some kind of way. Um, this is the most unique thing I've ever made and I can't get over this stitching. That's really cool. But um, it is cozy, I'll give you that. I mean. It's squishy and cozy. Like this is, this would be really cool. I probably should make myself one of these for the racetrack. Um, every bit of the seaming I had to do several times to get right because a lot of the pieces, since it's all different pieces. So you have like this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece and everywhere the joins happen. Like some of them happen with like mattress stitching and then some of them happen with like single crochet so we can get like this kind of ridging when you join. Like this kind of ridging when you join. Um, it adds that extra detail. So um, I love that. And single crochet seaming is like just satisfying anyways. I can't stop petting myself. Um, but like this is a longer piece than this piece would be. So it takes a little bit effort of effort to make like jumble up the stitches to make less work with more. And uh, so it took me a few tries with like almost every single part of it. And then you just like finalize the edges around like the sleeve part and um, I, I think like the reason why you need to do that too is to create this curved fabric that will hug you. So it makes sense why it's done that way. And this is actually kind of like a double brim here. And I love that I blocked everything already. Um, like it's since I already, I did it before all the seaming. So it's pretty much washed minus like the seaming bits and like the border. But, uh, so I might steam those parts, but I feel like it has like fantastic structure the way that it is. And I love it. I feel, I feel like this yarn really complements the idea of the Huntress vest also like Hunger Games style because it's kind of like pink camo, right? Oh, that's so cool. I feel like I could have a whole thing in just this stitch. I would love a whole thing in just that, but yeah. All right, let me stop admiring myself or my work and weave in all the ends. So crazy. I did try to do like a messy French braid. <laughs> and so I put a little headband to help with it. I feel like it's like glam huntress. Is that not beautiful? I'm getting a little hot out here. Can you hear the air conditioner? Like it's hot out here, but um, anything for the gram, doing the job, gotta be seasons ahead. This is amazing. I love it even more. And they're gonna get this much yarn back.